P.O. Tikundon Duo to ask question 145 2021. You have the floor. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Honourable Speaker. Uh, Honourable Speaker, I rise to uh, to ask question uh, 145 of 2021, and uh, this question is directed at the Honourable Prime Minister and Minister for Itauki Affairs, Sugar Industry and Foreign Affairs. Can the Prime Minister inform Parliament uh, whether the Ministry was consulted by the Fiji Sugar Corporation on its mission to FCCC, the Fijian Competition and uh, Consumer Commission, seeking a 100% rise in cost of the processed sugar. I uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member. I give the floor to the Honourable Prime Minister and Minister for Itauke Affairs, Sugar Industry and Foreign Affairs, the Honourable Josiah Poinamara. You have the floor. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to respond to the question by Honorable Pio Tikundundua. But before that, I would like to make a very quick, brief, very brief remark on the comment by. Honorable Gen Garangar Tambua, and of course by their leader, Honorable Biman Prasad. The comments they made this morning, <coughs> Mr. Speaker, has shown us that uh, the National Federation Party has lost it. They've lost the plot. They don't know where they're going. Uh, they're grasping for straws. Uh, the remarks by uh, Honorable Gerengere Tambo is nothing but full of sarcasm. But that's, uh, that's been a hallmark throughout the last uh, two years or so in, in Parliament. For ex uh, the speculation on our part about bus fare uh, being uh, at uh, $3, that's not uh, the bus fare for the oldest uh, Honorable Speaker is oh, still at $10. Point of order, Mr. Speaker, point of order? I'll explain. Honourable, I'm just trying to get hold of what the Prime Minister is saying. And I'd like to clarify something that he's just said, Honourable Speaker. Because he's casting aspersions on something that I said and something that I'll say. I can't hear. I can't hear. What is it? Honourable Prime Minister, you, you have the floor. I can't hear what what was being said. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, I I talked about uh, her remarks on uh, the bus fare at three dollars. That's speculation on the part. All she has to do is find out from uh, the minister or the assistant minister what the real bus fare is, and put it out. And Maybe she's uh, expecting a lot of emojis coming up uh, when she makes that remark, that speculation. But uh, she's always full of sarcasm. Uh, I fear, Honorable Speaker, Bini that uh, Fakir is uh, a woman that uh, is uh, shown in a lot of evil in the way she speaks in Parliament. I think it's, uh, she uh, looks as if butter would not melt in her mouth, but uh, really, the way she speaks is evil. It's as if she wants to fight everybody, because I, I've heard that she's a fighter. Personal she's Prime fight Minister. Before. Get personal. Is that, Honourable, is that point of order? Point of order, Mr. Speaker, this coming from our Prime Minister is unparliamentary language. He said that I made the statement, I asked a question whether they could clarify whether the bus fares for seniors has indeed dropped from $2 to $2. I asked a question. But to point to me as a woman, it just follows what happened in the Fiji Sun on Saturday. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, yes. Honorable Prime Minister, 
Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And uh, I hear the brief remark by uh, the leader of NFP, Honorable Biman Prasad. They have no strategies in place for this. All he talk about is uh, lockdown. When he's found out that uh, the lockdown is not an option, he's now running around like a cornered rat, trying to find a way out of the brief remarks he's made about lockdown. And if uh, Biman Prasad is really worried about the uh, education of our children, there's a big number of children in the uh, University of South Pacific. They are now educating, uh, learning in an environment of corruption. Maybe he can go help sort that bit out. Don't get personal. Don't get personal, Prime Minister. Thank you. Don't get personal. You were saying Fiji people Thank are you. educated. Don't Shush. take that. Order. You should apologize Order. to the people. Go to your university. Order. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, very simple my answer would be that the ministry was consulted and the advice given to FSC was to follow the transparent process as laid down under the law for the review, just like just like any other company. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I would also like to uh, advise NFP to do the same. Make your submission if you want to be heard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A supplementary question, uh, Mr. Speaker. Honorable member, you have the floor. Yeah, thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker. I, I, I want to ask this uh, supplementary question uh, at the Prime Minister and Minister for Sugar. And I thank him for saying that he, he has consulted with the company and and uh, my take of it is that uh, government has endorsed uh, the rice in the, in the price of sugar by 100%. So my question is, if he understands people are, are having such a hard time, uh, let alone uh, with the price of everything else and sugar, and trying to find sugar on the market, why is he uh, exacerbating their pain by allowing or endorsing this price hike? Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I said that they've lost the plot. He doesn't seem to understand what he's uh, talking about. He asked me in the question, uh, what was the question again? Whether well, the government was consulted. And I said yes, the government was consulted. But uh, if he wants to, if he wants a longer response, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that uh, collaboration and transparency have always been the strongest pillars of my government's policies which are supported through constructive stakeholder engagements and good governance. I was curious, therefore, Mr. Speaker, whether the Honorable Member had an understanding of both the process and the appropriate authority responsible to regulate prices for basic food items, including sugar. They have not put in their submission in this review. There's a whole lot of talk from National Federation Party about this but they haven't done their bit. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. You have the floor. You have the floor. Yeah, th thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Prime Minister was wondering uh, to unnecessary conjectures, but let me ask him, as part of the consultation, is he aware that the FSC also intends to have only one meal uh, in, in the Western Division? And the reason they're giving is because they need to generate more income, and that's why they ask for an increase in price. The relevant question. The relevant question. That's sugar. The first question. We're talking about the sugar, sugar prices, but let me, let me educate Mr. Biman Prasad a bit, uh, Mr. Speaker. 
It seems he's uh, confusing himself with the roles of the Ministry of Sugar, Industry and Fiji Competition and Consumer Commission, the FCCC, and Fiji Sugar Corporation in this context. Let me uh, inform him and in, uh, Honorable uh, Chikundundua, Mr. Speaker, the Ministry of Sugar is not the responsible authority to regulate price of any item, including sugar. Whether the proposed prices increases are 1%, 20%, or 100%, or even 200%, for that matter. Neither can it influence the body mandated to do so. That role is vested only to the FCCC as the primary regulator that provides the services as independent institution. The FCCC, Mr. Speaker, is an independent statutory body established under Section 7 of the Fijian Competition and Consumer Commission Act 2010 that promotes effective competition in informed markets, encourages fair trading, and protects consumers and businesses from restrictive practices, and controls prices of regulated industries and other markets where competition is lessened or limited. These functions, Mr. Speaker, are evidently important in setting prices for multiple industries to fix a balance between affordability and equitable returns. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, for the information of these two, the ministry is also not the sugar manufacturer, neither the watchdog, to intrude into operational matters of sugar industry that's institutions. FSC submission. Uh, Shush. That's the submission FSC made. Including that of the FSC not and FCC. It's a limited liability company. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, for the information of NFP, especially Mr. Biman Prasad and Honorable Chikundundua, all industry institutions have its own board to oversee the affairs and overall operations of the institution led by chairpersons and board directors who function through the chief executive officers to provide leadership to the company and deliver shareholders' its long-term values. In this case, Mr. Speaker, the proposal submitted to the FCCC by FSE is an operational matter, and FSE has done the right thing to take its proposal to the FCCC for price review, like any other company would do so, whether it's a state-owned company or private-owned entity. The Ministry of Sugar <coughs> Industry is a policy maker, Mr. Speaker, for the information of those two, and responsible for overseeing the affairs of the sugar industry. Given this role, let me ask the Honourable Member, these two uh, Honourable Members from the National Federation Party, Party, why would there be a need for FSC to discuss the percentage of price increase with the Ministry of Sugar, Industry, and not directly with FCCC? Members of the NFP, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, keep on talking about good governance. I want to ask him whether he understands the principles of good governance especially Honorable Biman Prasad and University. We do. I better, I do want, better than you, Prime Minister. Does he want the ministry as a government body to interfere in the affairs and operational matters of FSC? Government is this not a gross breach of order. good governance? Order. Isn't he aware that FSC is a company with its own board, governance structure, and operates under the Companies Act and Articles of Association, where the board is responsible for decision-making? and provide strategic direction to the company? Are they implying that FSC's able board is incompetent and Ministry of Sugar Industry should be consulted first before any such independent decisions are made? <coughs> Mr. Speaker, <coughs> this is not only ig ignorance, but it is, they are questioning the role of FSC board and its management. In fact, it is useless for them to bring this question to Parliament in the first place. They should go educate themselves on the processes of FCCC, an authority which will decide on whether and how much should be the price of sugar. I'm obviously aware of the processes of FCCC and the approach it has taken before deciding on the price change of any item. The key process are, of course, consultations with all relevant stakeholders. And Ministry of Sugar Industry will obviously be part of the consultation process similarly as any other individual organization. On 14th July, Mr. Speaker, FCCC had put out a press release inviting members to the public 
to actively participate in the sugar price review by providing their views, their comments, and their suggestions. Subsequently, on 15th July, government ministries, including Ministry of Sugar Industry, were invited to comment and make suggestions on the FSC's price proposal. Furthermore, FCCC has made available a non-confidential version of FSC submission on its website, social media pages, and newspapers requesting public feed feedback. Here is the submission for sugar price review by the FSC. Honorable Speaker, I have also gathered that FCCC has requested submissions from a range of other non-sugar stakeholders, including the members from the other side of the House. It is said to inform this August House that no submissions, no submissions have been made till to date <coughs> by NFP, no Honorable Pio, and Honorable Biman Prasad, at least as sugar consumers. But this is not something Very new. Very this is not something new. On several previous occasions as well, Mr. Speaker, the Ministry of Sugar Industry had requested inputs from stakeholders on sugar industry policies. Yet. Not a single contribution it's has been made for a sugar from NFP, shush, 2015, who are Prime continuously singing the committee. same old song you and misleading the public <coughs> with their lies and promises to turn around the sugar industry. Mr. Speaker, obviously they don't, they don't care about the growers nor the welfare of sugar consumers. If they were really concerned, they would have sent their inputs and at least produced some facts as to why the domestic sugar price should remain unchanged. Again, they have started making noise as they did most recently through a failed campaign to boycott sugarcane harvesting. Oh, Let me ask, Mr. We Speaker, never said work did they ever jump so high to you. when there are proposals for price increase for any other basic food items? No, never. There is nothing valuable from them but just another attempt to gain political mileage. We cannot expect anything from them, including FSC's proposal on sugar price. Mr. Speaker, the last review of sugar prices in the domestic market was done in 2017. While the domestic sugar price has remained, the factory maintenance cost, particularly labor cost, price of parts and equipment for the factory have significantly increased over the past years. It was further heightened by the outbreak of pandemic due to high freight costs to improve meal efficiency and optimic, uh, optimize grower and FAC revenue. Significant uh, target investment is needed in the mills. Therefore, it may be appropriate to relook at FAC's cash flow and investment requirements in mills. Also, not forgetting the fact that sugar intake is the major, contribution, major contributor to NCDs, which is the biggest killer in Fiji, killing thousands of Fijians each year. I want to allude again, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, that sugar price review will not be done by the Ministry of Sugar Industry, but the FCCC as the responsible body. Therefore, we must let the FCCC carry out its due process to make decisions on any price changes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honorable <coughs> Prime Minister, Honorable Inoshi Kurun. Kurun, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. A supplementary question. Uh, can the Minister inform the House what will the Ministry do if the, if the sugar price will not be reviewed quickly, since F FSC has already indicated that it is having an ongoing, ongoing adverse financial and operational difficulties. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Prime Minister, you have the floor. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I have made, uh, uh, I put out my answer to the question that was uh, uh, put forward by Honorable Chikondondua. And uh, the question, uh, the comment raised by Honorable Kurundrani is a substantive question. You can ask me another time. Thank you. We move on.
to the next question. The second or question for today. And I call on the <coughs> 